Okay, my name is Matthew Hunter and I'm the chef manager here at Stone in City in York. Okay, so we had the consultation with Waltons about what, what brand would be able to um, to handle the, the constant use because of the times we're open here, we're open from 8 in the morning till uh, we serve till about 10, 10 30, sometimes later at the weekends. The equipment's on all day, so we need something that would be able to stand up to the challenge. Um, they recommended Electrolux because we could have the majority of the equipment in the kitchen, so some of the fridges and the ovens and everything will all be from the same, same brand. One point of contact um, suited us, so we decided to go for Electrolux. We work quite closely with, with Waltons in terms of the design and the after service as well have been really good. But that's not just through them, that's through them kind of with the backup from Electrolux, which I think has been really good. It, it's like, it's not just a one way relationship between you and the supplier, you know, with the support they've had from you, it's just been, um, just helped things along a lot. We've had a, we've had a full suite, so we've got uh, ovens, combi ovens, we've got fryers, uh, refrigeration, and um, we've got a couple of different types of ovens. We've got deck ovens with the um, combination fan on, and we've got uh, a nice big four ring burner at the back for prep. So we decided, rather than go for a six ring standard stove, we go for a for be able to use all the rings at the same time for the for the kind of bulk items we're using. Definitely can't be oven. Yeah. Definitely. And we use that 24 hours a day. We do a lot of overnight cooking, slow braising, low temperature. We're using the uh, the programs as well for um, slow cooking, like the red meats, roast beef, going overnight, coming to a perfectly consistent product in the morning. Yeah, we, we uh, installed a pasta cooker as well, which we use for a lot of our veg and garnish on the larder section. We find it keeps the ambient temperature down, and in terms of the uh, hassle factor with having a built-in tap and drain, you don't need to worry about topping it up all the time. It's just kind of ready to go. Yeah, for, for that's, uh, that gets a lot of use in, in the kitchen. We have, um, I have three sous chefs, so we've assigned them a section each, sauce, larder and pastry. And uh, they have their own kind of teams underneath them then and they, they kind of manage their own areas, all their own ordering and it gives them some extra responsibility and they take a bit more ownership of their, of their areas. Uh, I find that helps because it gives people their own um, their own kind of like little ecosystem that they work in and it, they bonded in their own little teams as well which works really well. So um, at the moment we're using a lot of, um, on, the, on the main course side, we've got some uh, braised dishes, so we've got a braised ox cheek, we've got a comfy duck leg and um, we're doing like uh, rack of ribs and uh, spatchcock chicken as well, so it's kind of, we're not taking ourselves too seriously, but it's kind of local produce and we look after it. It's quite simple really, but that's our ethos. The ox cheek, we do a um, 48 hour braised ox cheek with a um, stockpot carrot and a beetroot risotto with Blue Wednesday Dill. And that's, you know, it's probably their staff favourite. If you asked any of the waiting on staff, they'd say that would be their favourite as well. It goes really well. Yeah, we, you know, right through the entire process, from, from design to, to the kitchen being fitted and now, you know, five months on, we've absolutely hammered it. The equipment's taken so much, so much stick from us. Uh, we're doing about um, 3,000 covers a week. Um, sometimes more, I mean, over the weekend we did 1,500 covers Friday, Saturday, Sunday and the stuff's on all the time and it's really, you know, it's, it's still up to a challenge.